Hello everyone, it's Richard Lewis here again with another video. And today I'm making a video I can't believe I've got to make. But it seems everyone's lost their minds, again, for the bazillionth time. And uh, it's time to flag down a taxi and ask for real street. So last night, uh, late, in the small hours uh, on the East Coast, I'm chilling and I see an email ping up in the bottom corner and I'm like, ooh, this looks uh, interesting because it's got the word cease and desist in it. Ooh, I'm in trouble now, aren't I? Who have I offended today? And I was expecting it to be, uh, you know, a company of some sort or whatever because, you know, I just published some story about Overwatch or whatever. Uh, anyway, I open the letter and uh, it's from phantom lord apparently i mean it isn't it's a clear hoax it's hilarious actually it's really funny i'm going to show you the letter in a moment and i had a good chuckle about it and i went to bed and i had a nice resting eight hour sleep and all was right with the world all was right with the world then i wake up and i'm going about my day and i steal myself psychologically to check the internet and see what's going on today and messages, loads of messages, Skype messages, Steam messages, Twitter DMs, tweets, 99 plus replies. Oh, what the fuck is this? Well, it turns out that that cease and desist letter uh, wasn't just for me. It was for a bunch of people. But unfortunately, they're taking it seriously. And everyone's going, oh my god, Phantom Lord has issued a cease and desist letter. What are we going to do? The nerve of the man. Right? Well, it's it's a clear hoax. I can't believe anybody is falling for this. Like, seriously. And I'm going to show you why. But I'll give you just an example of one of the tweets. This is uh, from a guy, uh, uh, Scott Chicken, uh, who's a partnerships manager at Omnia Media Company. And he says, PSA, any YouTubers who made videos on Phantom Lord, it is crucial that you keep an eye on your emails for a cease and desist. All right. I mean, I guess it's crucial. Why on earth is it crucial? Uh, it, like I said, this is one of the fakest things I've ever seen. It's a really funny hoax, and it's cl it's clearly well done. This is like satire, right? This is like really good, uh, and you're going to see why. So I'm going to bring you up copies of the letter here. Uh, this is what I got, and I'm going to I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to tell you this is how you spot hoaxes and bullshit legal letters. All right. So June 13th, 2017, it's almost a month ago. Uh, I have no idea why uh, it's taken so long to send me a PDF file, but whatever. YouTube user R. Lewis reports at uh, channel Richard Lewis. Uh, Ari, cease and desist making false and defamatory statements regarding James Phantom Lord Varga. Dear channel owner, I'm writing to you regarding the above referenced matter. You and your agents, employees, and assigns, collectively R. Lewis reports, are hereby warned and notified to cease and desist making false and defamatory statements and remove any false statements regarding Mr. James Phantom Lord Varga from YouTube. It has come to our attention that you have made false statements and published false materials regarding Mr. Varga, including regarding unfounded allegations against him having to do with his promotion of CSGO skin sites. Specifically, the videos listed below posted on YouTube contains false and defamatory statements statements about Mr. Varga, and then it names some of my YouTube videos, CSGO Shuffles, Rigged Rolls, and Phantom Lords Fake Subs, CSGO Shuffle, Vulcan and Gambling, Phantom Lords, Twitch Ban, Mod Scammed, Patreon, Karen Joris, Kid Gambling, and, and Shuffles Profits, Lounge Response, Bitcoin Not Money, and Dingle Derp Tweets, The Phantom Lord Lawsuit, The Return of Phantom Lord, question mark. The statements you have published are false, defamatory, and may constitute tortious interference with business and as such are actionable by law. Below are examples of statements made by Richard Lewis in these videos. Fake subscribers could be a way of kickstarting subtrains. We know that Phantom Lord Stream has made a big deal of subtrains in the past. Certainly, this bears more investigation. And bizarrely, after our video pointed out that these subs are bullshit, that they were being created by some sort of bot, they've mysteriously been turned off. Knowing what happened in 2016, although my understanding is that these types of scamming fixing the outcomes, I don't even know what that, why well, take the chunk of a middle of a sentence out. End of Phantom Lord as a streamer, certainly on the Twitch platform, that is what all sources are indicating to me. 
News about Phantom Lord being involved in some nefarious activities with his website, CSGO Shuffle. Everyone, Richard Lewis here, just continuing our coverage of the Phantom Lord story. For those that have somehow missed it, we managed to acquire, courtesy of a hacker, several logs that incriminate Phantom Lord as having done several nefarious, potentially legal things during his time owning CSGO Shuffle. Uh, and then we obtained these logs, as you know, from a hacker, and which proved that CSGO Shuffle was indeed owned and operated by Phantom Lord. Subtrain with this bot that has potentially been used to achieve that. Twitch banned his channel temporarily so he could achieve that goal. If Mr. Varga is forced to commence a lawsuit against Richard Lewis, Arlois reports and his respective owners in order to stop continued false and defamatory statements, be advised that Mr. Varga's attorneys will seek recovery of all attorney's fees and costs incurred in that effort. While Mr. Varga certainly hopes it is not necessary, he is prepared to pursue whatever avenues necessary to stop the continued false and defamatory statements made against him by Richard Lewis and those working on the Arlois Reports channel. Sincerely, Phantom Lord Legal Team and Co. And then look at the logo. It's a fucking cock and ball. Balls, isn't it? It's a cock and balls. It's a cock and balls. How do you even make a P and an L out of this? It's done deliberately to look like a cock and balls. I can't believe I'm having a fucking explain that this isn't a legal letter when it has a cock and balls on it. Right. Here's some hints, all right, as to why this isn't a legal letter. First of all, no offices. There's no office. So you're a law firm without an office. Makes sense. You would have to have some form of uh, address here, some form of contact, uh, so my attorneys could get in touch with your attorneys. That is absolutely necessary. Okay? Um, for, uh, I mean, it was sent from a Gmail address as well, by the way, guys. So, I mean... <clears throat> I don't know many reputable law firms that use Gmail addresses. <clears throat> it, it makes some bold proclamations about, uh, you know, defamatory statements and, and false statements. Uh, again, you, what you would have to do here is you would have to separate and specify what the state, what statements constitute false statements, what statements constitute defamatory statements, and what statements constitute tortious interference. Now, don't get me wrong, this person did go to a little bit of effort because they looked at my YouTube channel and chose all of the videos that I'd made with Phantom Lord in the title, which must have took a little bit of effort. And then they picked out some quotes. Now, again, in a legal letter, these, these would be laid out specifically what video they're in, the timestamp, uh, you know, you would have to qualify. Because, look, these examples of statements are made by Richard Lewis in his videos. Well, how do I know? My again, my attorneys would need to know where to find these so we could contest them. You couldn't just and they've randomly picked out the dumbest quotes. They have randomly picked out the dumbest quotes. I mean, some of these are just in the middle of a sentence and they don't really mean anything. Some of them as well, like saying this bears more investigation, they're not definitive statements. You couldn't prove that these were uh definitive statements, uh, because I'm not saying they are. Um, indeed, all the language we used in our videos was very cautious. Uh, in nature, right? Because we know about lawsuits and that kind of thing. Uh, so, uh, the next thing, sincerely, Phantom Lord Legal Team and Co. All right? Phantom Lord Legal Team and Co. So, I am now supposed to believe, all right, that Phantom Lord owns a law firm. He owns a law firm now. I mean, do you know what's involved in registering a law firm? It's absurd to even entertain this as being real, all right? So Phantom Lord doesn't own a law firm, does he? He doesn't, there's no, I've checked it. I don't even know why I bothered, but just so I can sit here and say there is no registered uh, Phantom Lord uh, law firm and co. There isn't one of those. It's not real. Why are people taking this seriously? It's actually really fucking funny. But people are messaging me. They're going, oh, I've got the big story. Phantom Lord's issued a cease and desist. And here's the thing. He's done it to a bunch of people. Um, there, there was this one here. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Atozi, right, sent me his letter saying, what do I do? Like, you don't do anything. It's a fucking joke. You laugh and you go on about the rest of your day. Um, so here it is. 
Uh, let's have a look. This is uh, a, just a screenshot of his. And again, look, same dear channel owner. Uh, cease and desist, false and defamatory statements. Here's the name of your video. Here's some random quotes picked out of the video, the random threat, and the cock and balls at the end, right? So look, loads of people have got this. What's scary is people are being advised to remove videos and private videos because people think this is real. So don't do that. You don't have to do that. Uh, there's two outcomes as to who possibly sent this. Now, I don't believe that Phantom Lord had anything to do with this. I don't believe he's that stupid uh, because um, I, I think you're in enough trouble as it is without misrepresenting that you're from a law firm. Uh, probably would stay away from that one. Um, second of all, uh, it, it seems to me that it doesn't even necessarily undo any of the damage. Do you know what I mean? Um, let's get entrenched and embroiled in another convoluted lawsuit, shall we? I mean, how does that serve his goals? You know, he recently said he was going to come back and tell the truth and tell, tell, tell all and tell a story about it. This uh, definitely doesn't uh, serve that goal. Now, here's what I will say. Uh, it could be that it's a, it's a fan or a friend and they think people are going to take this seriously. I mean, again, I'm definitely not. I do not recognize that as a legal uh, letter in any way, shape or form. Uh, you know, I, I've got attorneys on retainer. We'll, we'll have a good laugh about that, I'm sure, over, you know, some mint juleps or whatever we drink here in the South, right? But that is that is um, possible, I suppose, that a, well, if someone has tried to make people panic and remove videos because they want to protect their friend Phantom Lord. But what's more likely is this is somebody who actually doesn't approve of what Phantom Lord did, hence why the logo i got to stress it, it's a cock and balls, isn't it? Anybody can see that. People were messaging me going, Phantom Lord is the kind of guy who would register a logo as a cock and balls just to get in everyone's face. Mate, he doesn't own a law firm. There's no law firm of that name. Your cock and balls logo is all you need to see how, how much of a joke this is. So look, I, I, I would love to talk to the people who did this hoax. I think it's really fucking funny. And I'm not saying that in a kind of, oh, I'd love to talk to you kind of way. I'd love to actually, you know, um, just talk to them. I think it's funny. I already emailed them back at the Gmail account of the law firm, Phantom Lord Law Firm or whatever it was. Um, again, completely genuine. And I said like, you know, look, can I use this in the show? Can I put this in a video? I'd love to talk about it. Uh, so look, Guys, if you're panicking and wanting to take videos down because of this letter, man alive, come the fuck on. It's 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 a joke. It's a hoax. It's a bit of fun. I thought it was fun. I, I slept like a baby. Uh, and I'm going to keep making videos and doing my job as a journalist uh, about anybody that I think needs that attention. And that will include Phantom Lord. Anyway, there you have it. I had to put this out super quick. I'm going to get back to my coffee and ooh, worry about the cock and ball law firm coming to get me. All right. See you next vid.